This is GoMath third grade lesson 1.2 and we are working on how to round to the nearest 10 or 100. Now, um, the beginning of, up here says locate and label 739 on the number line. Round to the nearest 100. So, um, before I go ahead and locate where exactly it is, um, the first question asks, and it's already done for, is 739 is between 700 and 800. Um, when we did these in class, this was blank and this was blank, but um, obviously 739 would be larger than 700, but not quite as large as 800. So that's how we have 700 and 800. We know it's somewhere in between these two numbers. Now, it's also important to know, if we're not aware already, that the midway point between 700 and 800 would be 750. So it's real important that we know that's there because that will help determine where we locate and label 739. Now if I um, look and I start with the uh, hundreds here, I see that it's larger than it's larger. Uh, it's the same as uh, the hundreds here, but then I look at the tens. It's larger than these tens, but it's not as larger as large as the five tens. So th so I know it's in between here somewhere. So I'm just going to write 739. It doesn't have to be exact, but just as long as we know uh, close to where it is. So, is 739 closer to 700 or 800? And we could clearly see 739 is closer to 700. So, right, 739 is closer to 700 than it is to 800. And then if I look at number three here, 739 rounded to the nearest 100 is hmm so now i have to figure out is it close which one is it closer to 700 or 800 and we already determined that it is closer to 700 so based off of that uh, um, and then the fact that seven of uh, the three is less than five it's just the point that we would round up if it's on this side of this line we would round up so um we are going to go round back down and go down to 700. So 739 rounded to the nearest hundred is 700. And I'll come down here and just do two of these problems real quick. Um, the directions say round to the nearest 10 and 100. So on the first line uh, on here, we're going to round to the nearest 10. And then this line, we're going to round to the nearest 100. So... Um, I have 363, and if I'm looking at my tens, um, I have six tens, and then to round to the nearest tens, I have to decide whether I should stay at six tens or go up to up to seven tens. Now, what determines that is the ones place, and what do I have in the ones place? A three. Is it? And I have to determine is the three larger or less than five, greater or less than five. And it's uh, obviously three is less than. So I'm going to round back down. So instead of 363, this could be now 360. Now, if this was a, a five, a six, a seven, we would round up and this would be 370, but it's not. Now, for rounding up to the hundreds, we're looking at the tens. And we're, again, trying to see if this is larger than five. It is. So instead of th um uh, rounding down to 300, we're going to round up to 400 because 6 um, is 5 or larger. I could also look at this to help me estimate um, or round, excuse me, to um, 400 because, I, again, 6 is, is 5 or larger. Um, and just going down here to number 7, just skipping down, um, and looking at 209, if I'm rounding to the nearest 10, and 100. Um, to start off around 10 nearest 10, um, I look, I have zero tens right now, but I have nine ones. Again, that's greater than, it's five or greater. So I'm going to round up, and this will become 210. So now I do have a 10 there. Um, and then to the nearest 100, again, to round to nearest 100, you go back one, and you look, and the um, there's only one 10. So, we're going to round down to 200. 
And that is how we round to the nearest 10 and 100.